What's going on guys? Winter Kills here. Welcome back to another duel video from uh, one of our past live streams on the Photon vs. Fluffle matchup. I know the video quality isn't that great, but I do apologize for that. I hope you'll forgive me. Um, hopefully in the future when I get the right equipment, I'll be able to stream at a better quality. Um, yeah, so hopefully that will change in the future, but I wasn't able to record a bunch of live duels like I thought I was going to be able today because things happen. Plans change, etc., etc. But we're gonna get started. I'm gonna be going first this game, starting things off with Real Sunny Galaxy Eyes and summoning out a soldier from hand by discarding soldier. Now we're going to go ahead and search a galaxy monster. Now my brother playing left, playing Fluffle, still relatively new to the deck. Doesn't know all the you know the ins and outs, the tips and tricks, if you will, right? This isn't a Fluffle master. Looks like I am no. Photon Master. I mean, I know I've played the deck for quite a while. I, mean, I kind of know some of the combos, but uh, it's not like my brother's been playing Fluffle since release. Uh, but we were thinking about getting some videos. There's the new camera, by the way. I decided to show the stream, but uh, we were thinking about getting maybe a, a duel or so recorded with Fluffles playing with Patchwork. Uh, some IRL duels because, you know, my build is playing some OCG cards that aren't available yet. I just want to play Photons to their fullest extent. And I don't feel like waiting, so that's why I went and did that. So now you're going to see uh, Galaxy Expedition get played there to summon out another level 5. Fortunately, Master Rule 4 kind of hurts this deck a lot, so I'm going to have to go immediately uh, using those two soldiers into Soul Flare, add back Galaxy Eyes, and then with the leftover level 8 monsters go into Photon Lord, which is confirmed to come out in Battles of Legend, the new set on the 29th. Fortunately, no other Photon cards will be released in there. Sad face. It is what it is, but I'm still excited to play the deck. I just don't think it's 100% playable until, of course, all these cards are out. Vanisher, Orbital, and Hyperstar, at least. You know, you don't need Soul Flare right now. We just need something like Hyperstar. Although I am excited for that Secret Rare number 90 to come out. It's going to look so good. Cannot wait to pick up a couple copies of that. At least a playset, right? Gotta have a playset, because I'm playing two right now in the extra deck. Figure three. Uh, picking up three would be fine. If I want to play three, I can. If I want to play one, I can, etc., etc. So, he activates Foolish Burial, debating on what to send. I chain Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord to add a Galaxy Zero from deck to hand. And it looks like he's going to Foolish Burial Edge of Sabers. Let's set up some possible plays there with cards perhaps like Toy Vendor and things like that. And, uh, you know, when I, when I played Expedition early in that turn, it sparked a thought. I know uh, you guys had saw uh, the Photon combo video, or not combo, but test hands, rather. Speaking of combos, I think I was able to work out a couple combos on a stream the other night where I was doing some IRL test hands. I decided to delve into some combos. And I have a couple three-card combos that are on a, a decent field. Um, I might upload it. I'm not entirely sure. I guess it's, if it comes into high enough demand, uh, we'll, we'll try and see if we can make it happen. But anyways, Polymerization getting activated and summoning out uh, Fluffle Sheep using, it looks like, Owl and perhaps King of the Swamp to replace one of the substitutes or to re substitute one of the materials. And then I'll use uh, Soul Flare to destroy it. And then when he goes to summon it back out with Sheep, I negate that effect with the... Uh, Photon Lord, but he's going to go ahead and summon out Tiger regardless. And of course, he does attempt to destroy both the monsters on my field. Now, I still have a Photon card underneath number 90, so he cannot be destroyed by card effects, uh, you know, thus pr protecting itself from that Tiger. And uh, instead, opting to choose to go ahead and go into uh, here afterwards, go into. Actually, yeah, so I believe he, instead of going into Tiger, he opted to go into the uh, the Kraken instead. Be a much more optimal play. I said, you know what, fine, you can take it back. It's not too big of a deal. Uh, that way, the, the you know, the pop effect isn't wasted on the number 90. And that way, he's got a more defensive monster on the field. As perhaps you might have forgotten about the claws that number 90 cannot be destroyed by card effects while he does have a photon monster underneath it. I galaxy zero out a galaxy eyes from grave then I have an expedition hand play that to summon out another galaxy eyes from deck or any level five or higher photon or galaxy monster 
We're going to be able to go ahead and go into one more rank 8 here. I decided to go into 62 just to overlay into my boy full armor photon dragon and swing it for a whopping 6,500 damage. Of course, full armor will detach to pop, opening up for a lot of damage. And that is going to be it for game 1. And remember the last time we played, this is a sort of a rematch, if you will. The last time... Uh, I think Photons and Fluffles played off on this channel. The Fluffles had got the better. So we'll, you guys will be able to see sort of what happens here in the meantime. In this sort of rematch, if you will. Now, I believe, you know, the spirit of Fluffles is to go second. My deck does like to go first. It's more of like a sort of build a board and then break it if you can type deck. Uh, and that's sort of what Yu-Gi-Oh! is right now. I feel like we're in a very break my board ask format, but that's just my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and discard, or summon out Soldier, discarding Sanct or Galaxy Eyes, rather. Search Knight, and go ahead and then play Sanctuary to go into Soul Flare. And then normal summon Knight via its own effect. And then use Expedition to get that at level 8 out of my deck, and then allow myself to go into Photon Lord. Which, as you can see, I do have Galaxy Eyes in hand as I did add it back earlier. And normally that would prevent my Night Play from going off, but I decided to go for it anyways. Simply because I had the Expedition in my hand, which allowed for some extra play. Now, I have been playing two Expedition for quite some time, and I'm sort of debating on playing a third. Simply because, in situations like this, it's a win harder card that really does sometimes turn your mediocre boards into a good board. You know, imagine if I was able to, you know, perhaps keep a Galaxy Eyes Engrave for Knight, and then use an Expedition on my Soldier to perhaps go for an Infinity Play, which is what I think I could have done there, just by simply not adding back Galaxy Eyes off of Soul Flare Dragon, and then normal summoning my Knight into to revive the Galaxy Eyes from Grave, then Expeditioning out instead of a Galaxy Eyes, another Soldier. So I definitely think that was a bit of a misplay on my part there, and of course I do chain Photon Lord to Search. I believe it was another copy of Galaxy Knight. As we know, uh, Photon Lord is like a true Draco monster. He is being able to uh, chain himself to any sort of effect during your opponent's turn. And you can search a Galaxy or Photon card, period, from deck to hand. But I think in the future, I'll opt to play uh, a card like um, maybe three, three Expeditions. Perhaps, I'm not entirely sure. Um, he does get the summon, that Fluffle Dog off of the effect of Toy Vendor. I think uh, last time he accidentally searched uh, when it was special summoned from, I think from the deck, but uh, like, it, like it was there off Toy Vendor. Um, or some other way, it was summoned from the graveyard, I believe, and he wasn't able to get the search because Dog only gets his effect, I believe, when he is summoned from the hand. But I believe when he gets summoned off Toy Vendor like that, he would be able to search because you do draw into the card. Therefore, it would be in your hand at the time. But um, I actually think the only reason I said that is because the previous night, from the night I'm making this video, I played Fluffles and um, had to remind him. Is that because like it's very easy to miss? You know, it you could just read it real fast and be like, oh, it just gets its effect when summoned. Period. But it does designate from hand, so we'll try to uh, make sure. That, that doesn't happen again. That small mistake, not too big of a deal, but he's going to go ahead and normal summon Penguin now. Uh, and I believe he's not going to use his effect. I'm going to go into Decode Talker here. I'm going to use Soul Flare Dragon and uh, go ahead and destroy that. And I still have a Monster Negate. Keep that in mind um, as he does burn through some resources here. I don't know how easy of a feel like this would be to break with Fluffles. I, again, I, I'm not the Fluffle player. Uh, I only know bits and pieces of there from what I've seen my brother talk about and play in his short time that he's been playing the deck. And he's going to go ahead and activate Fright for Fusion, which I believe does rely on banishing stuff from the grave. Very, very powerful fusion card. The deck has, you know, regular polymerizations, fusion substitutes. Unfortunately, no patchwork yet, but that card is just insane. Um, and he's going to go into Kraken here now. Use... Uh, penguin as a material. Now this is going to look a little bit weird here. I know he does draw two for Penguin. As I said, he did use it for material. But then he, I think he gets a little bit ahead and forgets to discard, which I eventually think he does. So bear with it. I know things look a little bit weird. So he does uh, add back the Swamp King. He doesn't know he's going to discard it to search. 
but I do believe he's still thinking on what to discard off Penguin. Uh, but I know it. he does have the King of the Swamp in hand, um, but obviously he has to choose to discard first for the double draw off Penguin. And I believe he ends up discarding Edgem Sabres. It took me a couple minutes to figure out what went on because there was no audio context to go off. So he does discard Sabres off of uh, Penguin as it was used for material and then discard the Swamp King for a copy of Polymerization from deck. Then he's going to proceed into battle phase here as I have no Galaxy Eyes in hand and don't want to discard my whole hand to destroy it. Um, he, does, he is able to run over Soul Flare as well as Soldier, uh, which leaves me with just a... Um, number 90 on board now uh he does the effect does go off to be used to uh at once per turn at the end of the battle uh phase if this card attacked you can change this card to defense position um he does use that i decided not to negate i don't even know if i couldn't negate it not 100 percent sure um but either way i'm gonna go here in during my turn uh go into cypher dragon to steal his kraken and then, of course, Cypher is the only monster that can attack directly the turn I use that effect. But he had already taken 65 previously, so that 3,000 direct is going to be enough for game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a rematch. So, hope you guys enjoyed Photon still being able to take the victory here. But then again, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't seen already, you can pick up a Winter Kills t-shirt. Uh, the link, I think, will be in the description. You don't have to. If you'd want, you want to represent you know one of your hopefully favorite yugi tubers i guess um feel free to sort of a consider it sort of a, a team thing if you will and uh yeah would be appreciated again you don't have to don't feel like you have to do that like i said and as always thank you guys so much for watching you can also pick up a playmat too but again you don't have to as well these are just options if you feel like you want to go above and beyond in terms of support other than just watching which of course on its own is 100 percent fine as is but anyways hope you guys are having a good one leave a like if you enjoyed and as always we're gonna kill sign and i will see you guys in the next one